jellyfish and sea jellies are the informal name given to the simple members of the phylum Cnidaria and are often referred to by scientists as gelatinous zooplankton. Jellyfish can be some of the most unearthly but beautiful creatures and they come in all different colors, shapes and sizes. There are more than 200 different species of jellyfish to date, each one more fascinating than the last. While some are almost completely transparent, they also come in vibrant colors or have their own bioluminescent internal glow. You might wonder how all of this is possible of creatures that have no brain, no, no heart, and, and no bones. While some species of jellyfish are so tiny and comparable to the head of a pin, the world's largest species of jellyfish are truly terrifying. The lion's mane jellyfish, Sonia capillata, is a beautiful, bioluminescent creature that is also the world's longest jellyfish. A lion's mane jellyfish has 12,000 tentacles that can extend as far as 37 meters. These monstrously long tentacles can surpass the length of our planet's largest animal, the blue whale. whale. On the contrary, the tiny box jellyfish has species types ranging from about one centimeter to 20 centimeters in length. Don't be fooled by their tiny size, because the box jellyfish is considered to be the most venomous marine animal in the world. Their tentacles contain venom to kill up to 60 humans, sending its victims to drown from shock or go straight into paralysis, delirium, cardiac arrest, or death within minutes. Unlike most jellyfish species, box jellyfish have eyes. In fact, it has 24 eyes with a complex array of visual sensors, giving it a full 360 degree view of its surroundings in color. Not only that, but it's unlike its cousins, who mostly drift along with the current. Box jellyfish can propel themselves through the water at four knots. With their dangling, stinging tentacles and weird jelly-like bodies, you might assume the jellyfish have been created by aliens and sent down to Earth from the future. The truth is that they've been on this planet for a lot longer than you'd think, you silly goose. Since they don't have any bones, Jellyfish fossils are darn hard to come by. However, in 2007, a preserved jellyfish fossil was discovered and dated back to around 505 million years ago. This means that jellyfish even predated dinosaurs by at least 250 million years. What's even more amazing is how remarkably similar today's jellyfish are to the jellies of prehistoric times. Fast forward more than 500 million years when NASA started employing jellyfish. Interestingly enough, humans and jellyfish both rely on specialized gravity sensitive calcium crystals to orient themselves, which is why studying jellyfish in space provides insight to how humans might fare in zero gravity. In fact, more jellyfish have been to space than human astronauts. In 1991, over 2,000 jellyfish polyps were blasted into space aboard the Columbia Space Shuttle for scientists to observe their reactions to a zero-gravity environment. The 2,000 jellyfish ended up reproducing in space and eventually turned into a bloom of 60,000. Sadly, the spaceborne jellies couldn't function properly back on Earth. Maybe this opens up a new realm of possibility for space-living alien jellies, hmm? Well, 